Here's a quick walkthrough to show how easy it is to use Pixel Camera to do 2D inside of Unity. All you need to do is drop the Pixel Camera script onto the camera you intend to use. And then I've included some prefabs to um, uh, display images or 2D content in Unity very easily. Uh, in this case, here is a uh, 100 by 100 image. Um, if you model things to match Unity's scale, then you can actually use the scale of the transform to match pixel coordinates. So in this case, we have 100 by 100, which shows on the screen in pixel coordinates as 100 by 100. Um, and the way that um, uh, <clears throat> pixel camera works is that uh, you can actually place things on the screen as you would say in Photoshop. Um, uh, by using pixel coordinates. So in this case, we'll make this object be 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And if you noticed, it went off screen because pixel camera needs to um, have a negative Y, which is the only quirk in it. But uh, so that will make that be 100 pixels by 100 pixels from the upper left hand corner of the screen. Um, so let's go ahead and put a few more objects in here. So here's an object that's 50 by 50. And if we dial in the X to be 100, as you see, it stacks very nicely next to that 100 pixel uh, image. Uh, here's a 25 by 25. And then if we put that at 150, as you can see, everything stacks just as you would in, in, um, in Photoshop or anything else that uses pixels. Um, in addition to uh, the way Pixel Camera works, I included a couple nice little helpers here. Uh, let me put this background sprite in here and you can put a stretch onto it to fill the screen. Um, you can set this to be uh, only width, uh, only height, or both. Um, in addition, um, I've included uh, an anchoring system, uh, which you can drop on here called Pixel Anchor, and you can set what anchor or what corner you'd like uh, Pixel Camera to uh, place it on the screen. Now, if you notice, uh, we're doing everything in world space here. Um, so if we wanted to get this camera out of the way to do our 3D content and organize our scene, nothing's going to go along with the camera here. Um, this is very easy to fix. Um, when you drop pixel camera onto your main camera or the camera you're using to do your 2D with, um, a content uh, child is created. Uh, if you simply take all of your content, drop it into this content child, and turn off calculate position on your pixel camera and you may need to uh, save your scene to have it recalculate um, hang on one second now, the reason why uh, background is not uh, correctly placing itself uh, is because uh, it has a negative uh, value here uh, the easiest way to fix that is either to set it at zero um, to make it fit or you can simply use the pixel anchor and you can set it to uh, middle center um, and these other objects over here as well they aren't in view because they are off to the negative uh, and negative X you know, position because we moved them into this content uh, holder um, again we could use the anchor we can dial them in in this case we'll just go ahead and, and dial them in um, they are not showing because they are behind the stack of this background. Uh, and the way you uh, do depth in Pixel Camera is simply uh, uh, add a greater value to the Z, which will push it further away from the camera. So in this case, we'll just push the background back by, say, 100. And if you notice, it's going to be behind those objects, and it'll always render uh, correctly in screen space. Um, let's go ahead and move this 25 over. And as you can see, everything holds up and stacks fine. And now we can move our camera and everything stays consistent. And you can use this approach with uh, additional cameras to stack things to do simple UI or anything else you might need. Um, that's it. I hope it helps.